Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts New Cross Nation. <laughs> Today we're going over the normal weekly updates for this week. I know for these type of videos, I tend to uh, go over what are the new weekly uh, VIP stuff or like Union Cross and stuff that we got for this week. But because of fact, we pretty much are getting everything that we'd normally get anyways for this week. We're going to gonna completely skip that. And we're going to be looking at Reddit. <laughs> looking at all the nice, juicy memes on Reddit. Global Festival Competition got me like... Ah! No, this isn't happening. There's no reason for me to go on. What? <laughs> what am I fighting for? <laughs> <laughs> it's so accurate though like <laughs> oh, that's funny all right so i know we we're gonna look at memes but there is this huh, there is this one post that quite honestly perfectly perfectly embodied how I feel about, uh, how I basically felt about the entire global festival now that it's over and stuff. Um, and it was just very well, well written. And I don't think I probably could have written any better, uh, to be honest, but, uh, I do want to share it with you guys. So please bear with me. I, I, I will be reading the whole thing too. This goes by the Reddit user Takashiyumi. Global festival just ended and we didn't reach the final goal. What will happen next? As the notice stated, all eligible players will receive their fabulous rewards after July 3rd. The unfortunate thing is that fabulous rewards means nothing. This phrase is used all the time by Senna to signify literally anything. We have had quests where they say gain moon gems and other fabulous rewards. This amounted to moogles, mirrors, and EXP medals. We have also had times when fabulous rewards equaled small amounts of jewels. So we literally know nothing. I definitely agree with that statement. Because here's the thing, okay? And I picked up on this like forever ago, which is essentially the fact that like, whenever there's anything of actual significant value for us to want to chase after, they'll actually state what it is, okay? If it's magic mirrors, if it's brooms, if it's gems, if it's skill, anything, okay? Just anything of actual value, they'll actually state it, okay? And then anything else that's clearly trash <laughs> that we don't need in the game, such as more uh, SIDS, EXP medals, uh, money, uh, just, just anything that we don't need that's just of insignificant value. They always label it as fabulous rewards. It's always the useless stuff they label as fabulous rewards. And I've noticed that a long time ago. Uh, anything of actual significant value, they'll actually tell you that you're gonna get it. Uh, so, like, I definitely more or less agree with that statement. So when they actually stated that near the beginning of the entire competition in the first place, they already gave me a red flag that we're not gonna get anything of actual, like, significant value. <laughs> and that's what kind of concerns me, to be honest, is the fact they just can't be, like, upfront with what we're gonna get. <sighs> but what went wrong? It has been said a million times, but communication was off for the event. JP received far more information than we did, not amazingly so, but they were told about all phases of the competition when it started. I believe their notice may have stated that they would get jewels that would scale based on how they did, but I don't have proof. I, I do remember covering that, that affected the notice, at least the translation anyways, did state that they would get jewels. They didn't really say how much, they would just say they get jewels. Um, which is way more information than we got at all, period, for Global, okay? The only information Global received were basic notices explaining each phase as they came. From Glacey, we got absolutely nothing other than a response to all of the hate on the first week, which could have been mitigated with simple communication. By the time the third week got here, Global no longer cared. We had no idea what we were competing for, what we were competing for. We beat JP in the first two uh phases so this final phase felt like it was just helping them get their consolation prize now <laughs> that that one paragraph right there pretty much summed up everything i had said it in like last week's uh weekly update video how it was just like i just want to say i think it's already off to a bad start when i have to say that i have to start off this video with presenting you guys a notice from the JP version of the game because simply because of the fact that we were not given any sort of notice like this in the global version of the game. To top it off, we were never informed of the double lux phase of the final week. It wasn't mentioned in the Saturday night tweet even though it started at that point. 
we didn't receive an in-game notice, and the notice for the phase could only be accessed through from the more details section of the event itself since it fell off the main notification list. Don't worry though, because it still stated that there would be no bonus times. Yeah, I saw that too. Like, and I actually called it out uh, and predicted it in last week's <laughs> weekly update video. I did state that chances are they're going to try and sneak him some last minute uh, Lux boost for both sides, okay? And if they do or don't, okay, it's going to look bad on them, period, okay? If they don't, it's their fault for making the bar so high when it was just completely unrealistic. Uh, if they do, uh, they're just going back against their word because the notice did say they were going to have no bonus Lux times again, okay? And they still went back against it. And it's even worse this time, too, because of the fact they told JP about it in a notice. But w Global literally didn't get any notice of it whatsoever at all. Heck, even a lot of veterans players didn't actually know about uh, Global still uh, also getting the double Lux boost unless we accidentally came across it or we happened to see the JP notice and we we're just like, oh, oh, maybe I should check if Global has it too. Like quite literally, a lot, a large portion of the player base didn't even know we had double Lux boost and that's a problem. Lastly, the raid boss's level reset on the first. I suppose we could have guessed this would happen, but it was a special raid for an event. This meant that casual players that gradually leveled the boss throughout the week would have to start over and not benefit from the bonus 3,000 coins at max in the level 99 boss. This made many, myself included, no longer want to continue raiding. It was I wasn't going to finish the mirror board by only getting 3,000 coins if I was lucky with every boss I defeated. I quit after getting enough flux for the monthly goal. Please improve communication. Tell us what is going to happen in the game that we love. Keep us in the loop on what is going to be worked on. Uh, if PvP is going to change, tell us before it does. If PvE Coliseum is going to get drastically boosted in difficulty, tell us. If we are getting certain rewards, tell us. I don't think anything will change, but I hope it will. I thought this was kind of weird too, to be honest, because normally, whenever, whenever a special, uh, whenever a raid week like this or something happens to occur, normally we get to keep the uh, the raid level, the raid boss level uh, that we've built up up to that point. But for some reason, the raid boss got resetted back to level one. Uh, yesterday, which I'm not too particularly sure why, because because the only times, as far as I'm aware anyways, the only times a raid boss ever actually gets reset to level 1 in the middle of, like, doing the raid boss and stuff, is only for the weekend raid bosses. Um, so I per even I personally wasn't expecting the actual event raid boss to reset itself. To me, that was really weird. I didn't know what to think about it. I th yeah. But, like, seriously, I cannot agree more and like emphasize and just encourage exactly what Takashiyumi stated here in this post. Like, just please improve communication, okay? Like, literally, you're not even doing anything in the game. I mean, like, you, you should through notices, but like, at the very least, just tell us through like announcements and stuff. Um, you can easily do that. It's not like you can do that. Okay, so at the time of making this video, it looks like Glacy did respond. Uh, to this post uh, where she states there should be news in coming soon and the feedback from the festival should definitely come into play if we have a similar event in the future I mean that's nice to see I kinda it's I don't know I don't know how I particularly feel about that it's like part of me feels like it's already kind of too late <laughs> to be honest um, like I still want to hear the feedback but like like the damage has been done basically uh, and it's 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 like there should have been something more like this already within like the first or second week to be honest. Um, as someone in my streams keeps pointing out, it's like they, they really are trying to make Global run parallel with JP now more or less at this point. But at the same time, it's like they'll uh, they'll t they'll tell JP things, but they'll put a bag over Global's head just so we can't hear anything. <laughs> it's just like like it's just like why? Why? I don't understand, okay? You're literally run by the same company. Uh, and then when I go see, like, the F, uh, the Final Fantasy games, how informational they are with their community, okay? Like, it, it's just mind-boggling how, like, um, like, it's just mind-boggling how the same company can do so well on a lot of their uh, other mobile games, but can't apply the same basic type of, like, reticate 
towards those games towards Union Cross. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. What? And I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Uh, I really do want to understand, but like, I just, I just, I just don't because we get, we don't get told anything. And it's like, I, I have mad respect for Glacey and Rachel who have to constantly put up with this because like, I feel bad for them quite a, like quite a while, uh, every once in a while. Because like I can only imagine how much they have to deal with because of because of all this on a consistent basis too, uh, which kind of sucks. Because uh, I, I I I know they're just a PR people. They don't really have much power, so they're they're always limited, um, but by what they can actually do or say, um, either through like uh, Square Enix policies or like some superior holding them back and stuff like that. Uh, just very just a variety of things, but. Well, that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.